had like a literal come to Jesus moment? On paper, things were great, right? Like I was married. Things were like I had a, I have a great marriage. I had a good job. Like I worked my ass off, but I, I made good money. Like my shit stinks. Like I'm nobody special and I'm not here to preach to anybody, but I'm telling you, like giving things to God uh, for me alleviated 99% of what like I had a like I don't know how to describe it but when you ex when you experience and I mean you've done things that I haven't like with DMT and all and that stuff's very intriguing to me and so I'm open-minded to all that as well like I'm not but yeah like I had when this when I kind of had this breakdown moment and um, decided that I was going to let whatever ego I had go and just at this point is like I knew I didn't have much left in for me anyway and i wanted i wanted to serve whatever purpose it was that i was here to serve it's like you get this just overwhelming feeling in you i was just crying like a baby just this very like warm feeling throughout me and that um that really hasn't gone away since like again i'm not i'm not anybody special and i'm certainly not here to preach to anybody but just from coming from somebody who was just really just in a really just fucked up place like and i use that word like with discretion but in this case it describes like where i was like that guy found a lot of peace like from this book i don't know i just uh i just decided like right then and there i was like i know i can't do this anymore and but i know i know that i can i know there's things that i need to do and i just I was just just told God I was like just let me do it like and I'll give all this shit up I'll give up the weed and I'll quit getting drunk and I'll quit um I'll quit being so angry about things and I'll just like well, I'll just call it good whatever I've done up from from up until I was 30 or whatever 31 like I'll we'll just call that good and I'll start over again and um I'll make him the focus and not me Was there a moment when you had like a little <laughs> Wow not only is this man, uh, is this man Oliver Anthony a man that can sing his butt off, but this man is a man of God. I mean, bro, seriously, it's a see, it hit different when you have somebody who can who have all this good talent, but then they also put all their faith and trust in God. That is the most beautiful thing ever, bro. But before I give all my thoughts on this video in particular, it's another one of him on Joe Rogan podcast and I love that Joe Rogan's having all these guests that is literally like talking about Jesus Christ because a lot of people need to hear the name Jesus I'm telling y'all it's power behind that name a lot of people unsubscribe from this channel they will click off this video because I'm saying the name Jesus they can't stand to hear the name Jesus the demons that's inside them can't stand to hear that name because it's power behind that name but without further ado man it's another clip that I want to show y'all because this is bro it's it's amazing to me how we have such a, a man who literally nobody knew knew him nobody knew this man well at least for me i didn't know this man you know what i'm saying and this man blew up out the blue with one of the top ranking songs in all countries bro in all countries around in the entire world so blew up but let's watch this video right here take me to what what you did did you start reading the bible like what did you do i just changed my perspective um you change. You, you, I quit like, worrying about me, and I started worrying about what what it is that I'm supposed to do. You know, like it talks in the Bible about um, about being a servant, and you know, giving up. I guess my desire and my will and whatever it is that I that I want to do. Like, um, I don't, I don't know the best way to describe it, but it's about it's about trying to use what I have as a tool versus doing what I can in the moment to give what give myself whatever satisfaction that it is i'm trying to get you know it's about letting trying to let go of your ego i guess in a way um mm. and i mean people people pursue that mentality without faith i mean it's the idea of there being something bigger than you but i think inherently all human beings idolize something like it talks in the bible about false idols we all have false idols oh, like whether Preach. it's our phone or it's a celebrity or it's something we do or it's our addiction to food or drugs or whatever but like it's very difficult for a human to be the biggest thing on their hierarchy there's always something above us right because we're always in pursuit of something bigger than whatever it is in that moment and i think for me it was just about taking everything else all the distractions and all the other things in my life away and just ensuring that at least and look i'm st we're all we're all 
we all sin and we all do stupid things. Like we're all just people. Nobody's special or righteous. People sometimes act like they're special and righteous, but we're all just the same thing. Like, um, but it's just about trying to make that, make that my idol, make, make, make God and the concept of what it is that he wants done on this earth, my idol versus anything else. You know, like we all serve, we all serve some master, whether we realize it or not. So why not let it be the master that is above all? Take me to what what you did, bro. Did you start this, reading. This, look, Oliver Anthony. I know you said you ain't come on here to preach. I know you said all that, bro. But you came on this man to preach, okay? You came on this podcast to honestly preach, bro. This right here is a amazing testimony and amazing message. You feel me? And I feel like a lot of people don't understand everything that this man is saying. But what he is saying is that. He gave it all up. He gave it all up to truly seek after God because what people don't understand is that we all worship something. We all have some type of idol in our life. Whether we realize it or not, like Oliver Anthony said, we all worship an idol. You know, and I feel like one thing that everybody do on this earth is that not only are we worshiping something, we're also chasing something. We all trying to chase purpose. We all trying to chase peace. I mean, literally think about the music industry. They all chasing something, bro. It's a lot of people coming out the music industry. They giving their life to God, but a majority of the people in the music industry, especially the rap industry, is chasing after purpose. They're chasing after peace because the music industry ain't gonna give you that. And I feel like the reason why they're not getting the peace that they want is because they not they putting that they trying to seek that peace in something that cannot give them that peace the only place you can seek peace in is really seeking after god giving your life to jesus christ like literally that is the that's the only way you can have peace within you a lot of us ain't gonna feel that peace because we're not truly seeking the bible say that a man who seeks shall find the bible also says we draw near to him he will draw near to us you know what I'm saying? Like literally what <laughs> what this man Oliver Anthony said is so powerful, bro. Giving his testimony to Joe Rogan and from what I've been seeing in the comment section and everything like that, Joe Rogan is not a man of God. He's not a person who follows Christ. But the fact that lately he's been having a lot of people cuz I I don't watch Joe Rogan as much as I used to, but from the people that's been on his podcast and the clips I've been seeing consistently on TikTok, Instagram, and all these different uh, social media platforms, a lot of people are coming on his podcast preaching the word of God to him. You know what I'm saying? It's like literally he has all these people around him preaching the word. And I promise you sooner or later, man, if we continue to pray for this man, I promise you he'll give his life to Christ right then and there. But we also got to understand that what, uh, what Oliver Anthony is saying is so powerful. It is so true. And I pray that a lot of y'all give y'all life to Christ. I pray that y'all start to really seek after him because I'm telling you, if you want peace, if you want to find your purpose, that's where you're going to find it at. You're going to find it by giving your life to him. He's going to show you and direct your path. You're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. But there's so much I could give you, but a lot of y'all won't understand because y'all not saved just yet. So y'all won't understand every word that's coming out of my mouth because y'all not saved. However, all I can really say is to continue. If you are, continue to live for God. If you are already doing it, continue to live for Jesus Christ. Continue to live for him. And if you're not, I pray that you give your life to him. Give your life to Jesus Christ. The Bible say in Matthew, I actually got the scripture right here. In Matthew, uh, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24 to 25, if anyone desire, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. To, to sum up the entire thing, pick up your cross and start to follow God. That, 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 that's the only pick up your cross that's it give up everything just how just how this man uh oliver anthony did he gave up everything gave up everything and said lord i'm just gonna follow you i'm just gonna follow you. he gave up everything and that's what we need to do we need to give up everything everything for his sake everything for his sake man i'm telling y'all bro wait this man is preaching is so powerful and i pray that y'all honestly understand i pray that y'all understand what he's saying bro you know what I'm saying? But shout out to Joe Rogan, man. And well, yeah, shout out to Joe Rogan for bringing Oliver Anthony on the podcast. But most importantly, shout out to Oliver Anthony for coming on Joe Rogan podcast, preaching the gospel. Even though this man said he didn't want to preach, but bro, you was preaching, bro. You was preaching, fam. I'm telling you, the words that you said out your mouth, a lot of people look up to these people right here. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of kids that look up to Joe Rogan. There's a lot of kids that look up to Oliver Anthony now. And there's a lot of young adults or even adults that look up to Oliver Anthony. And the fact that he can be, have all 
this talent, uses his talent, he can use his talent to glorify God. That's what matters the most is him using his talent to glorify God because a lot of people may get saved based off his music. A lot of people may get saved based off his testimony. A lot of people may just get saved because they see that he's saved and they want to be saved and they see that the things that's happening in their life, they want them saying things. So they might end up following God because they truly want to uh, truly want to see what that peace and finding purpose is all about. I'm telling y'all, man, continue to do what y'all doing, Joe Rogan and Oliver Anthony. I doubt y'all will ever see this video, but continue to do what y'all doing because what y'all doing, I promise y'all, y'all saving souls, y'all winning souls for the kingdom of God. Continue to do that, man. But without further ado, I want to bring y'all this video because this video is just so powerful. So yeah, it's been your boy, Depan. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.